Let's go home and stuff some cash in my love. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika with all of Shamika. And we are back with another video. If this is your very first time clicking on the video of mine, then welcome to my channel. If you are not new and you're one of my other buggies, hey love, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. Alrighty, so if you watch my budget with me, then you know that we got some exciting news. Two things. Celebrated my 13 years in the Air Force and my, you know, my pay raise that I received. But we also talked about and celebrated a money series that we're going to be starting. My first video just posted this past Wednesday. So if you have not checked that video out, I'm going to leave it linked right here for you to check out. But I am doing a money series over the the next four weeks just something that I felt like I should do and I felt like would be very informational and helpful for those out there that are wanting to embark on this journey and then just some ways that kind of helped me over the past few years so make sure you check out that money series if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe if you are not new and you've been watching for a while, turn that bell notification on for everyone so that when I do post the next three series or any videos, you get notified immediately. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our cash stuffing and sinking fund stuffing. So now that we got all that out the way, we are doing the most exciting thing ever. And that is going to be stuffing our cash envelopes as well as stuffing our sinking funds. So... <laughs> Let's go ahead and start, but we cannot stuff my cash envelopes with this prop money. So what I am going to do is I'm going to remove my prop money and place my real money in here, but I'm going to get me a little thumbnail real quick too. I had to get a little thumbnail, but we got our funds and y'all saw that we went to the bank earlier and got our funds. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna set all this to the side cause you know, per usual, I got on here not prepared cause I just got too excited. I always get too excited to start stuffing. And for those that are new to my channel, I do stuff my sinking funds with prop money. I do not use real money. I'm just a paranoid person when it comes to that. So I don't use real money. I just feel like it's, you know, it's better for me to have it in the bank just just what it is i just prefer it to be in a bank and that's just what i like so that's that but obviously for cash envelopes girl i'm gonna use real money i ain't trying to go to jail now <laughs> not trying to go to jail now why she gonna give me the little old hundred dollar bill it's all right we gonna use it girl is it real how they be checking that's why i need you is it real girl a little fake that's okay because i got it on camera when she gave me that money Y'all saw that in a previous clip. All right, so up first, we're gonna stuff our hair and nails and our allowance at the same time. So we're going to be doing $100. So I ended up getting two 20s, a 50 and a 10. And the reason being is I'm gonna do $50 in hair and nails and I'm gonna do the other 50 in my allowance. Now, the only reason I have two separate envelopes is because I made one of them by mistake or I had messed up on it. And I was like, well, you know what? Because I messed up on it, I'm just going to keep it for myself. So that's why you see this hair and nails envelope. But it's technically all of this is the same thing. I just separate it. Um, and this could be like if I want to go and buy some um, miscellaneous that doesn't include hair and nails, which is what it is. Just I know I got a whole hair care envelope. So this mainly will be like for my nails, but I made an envelope for someone else and I messed up on the color and stuff and it just wasn't right. So I, I kept the envelope for myself. So then Fuel for Black Beauty is going to get $200 and for that we're just going to be put $200 bills in here. Normally that has been working. Normally that's been a little too much, but y'all we didn't have any money left over except for our rollover envelope. So that's why I did not include that in this part. So then for groceries, so we're going to put 200 for um, fuel for black beauty. Then groceries, groceries is going to get a total of $165. I normally only put the big bills in my larger um, categories like my groceries and my gas. And then eating out is going to receive $45. So we're going to be a little less 
aggressive with eating out this paycheck. And another reason why I put so much in my allowance is because I want to be realistic. Again, my birthday is this month, so I know I'm gonna I'm gonna want to spend a little bit extra funds. So then in Starbucks, the coupon, the gift cards are gone, so we're back to stuffing that. And for Starbucks, we're actually going to do a twenty and a five, just because. That's that. My household. I know I said we did not have any money left over, but we did have twenty dollars in household. And I'm going to add a $10 bill in there so that I can make this $30. Um, I know we do need like laundry detergent and stuff like that. So we're going to do, we're actually going to buy some this paycheck. <clears throat> then in our unbudgeted, unbudgeted is going to get $25 as always. And $25 normally works for me really, really well. Then we got Miss Bella. Miss Bella is going to get $30. And I know y'all see my little back to bank. I got to put all that back in the bank um, because I used my credit card for some transactions in my cash envelopes this past paycheck. And um, now the credit card is out of my envelope. But I used what I needed. So I got to transfer all this back into my bank. And then we do have some receipts and stuff that we need to scan in our fetch rewards uh, later. That's Sonic. I had to go get me a bag of ice from Sonic. I love their ice. And then we got some coins. This usually gets super full. So I don't try to keep a lot of change in here. So I really just try to keep like two of each denomination. Just so I have some change in here. And then like five or so pennies. And then I'll put the rest of the change in the change jar. So that's that. And our cash envelopes are all good. But for the ones that I travel with. For our... Um... Rollover envelopes, we do have 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And we're going to add $30, uh, $5 bill for hair care. So that's 35 This is why I told y'all I have a hair care envelope and I have a hair and nails envelope. It was just because. But this is mainly like my hair care products that I need to purchase. And then for my son's haircuts, he's going to get 30 or 10 He already had 30 so now he's going to have 40 for his haircuts and all the envelopes you see up here are listed in the shop so that is that alrighty so now let's go ahead and stuff our sinking funds we're gonna start with our so so savings first in that one we are going to do $60 in the uh, fund for my um, my regular savings and Michelle's envelope, which we are switching. Now, I said I was going to cut this open in my last video and I didn't. So, let me do that. All right. I was supposed to cut that open in the last video and clearly I did not. But it's all cut open now. And we're going to add $100 to her savings. There we go. And then in Malachi, Malachi is also going to get 100 for now. And then in my new house fund, my new house fund is going to get $215. And the house fund is growing. If we put the 215 in there, we are at, where are we at? Girl, where my little calculator went? Mm, right here Ooh. so we now have 16 70 70 775 92 we growing we growing so that's where we're at with our new house fund and then penny is not getting anything 
because Penny is all stuff and 52 week is going to get the $50 and then our savings is all stuffed next up is going to be my soft sinking funds which is my orange binder now and in there Bella is going to get $30 She's gonna get 30. Bella actually had, I forgot to add this 25 on here, so she really has more than that. So she really got 35, and then I'm adding 10. So she has 45. And then in Black Beauty, Black Beauty is going to get $40. Back to School will get $10. Now Boarding, which is my travel envelope, is going to get $120. Clothing for everyone uh, is going to get $10. We're all going to get 10 So I'm going to do $20 for the kids. $10 a piece. And I'm going to do $10 for myself. And then dental insurance is just going to get $5. Holidays will receive 25. Military uniforms will receive $50. That's the majority. That's the reason we got a whole pay raise was for our uniforms. And then YouTube will get five because I want to start sending just a little bit extra for like SD cards and stuff like that. Uh, hard drives and things of that nature that I need to purchase for the sake of YouTube. So that's that. Soft funds are done. Now we're on to our hard sinking funds. And in here we are going to stuff Amazon Prime, which is going to get five. And then my son's birthday will get five. We did not use all of his money. I actually didn't use, but like maybe I use 61 because we're going to the movies this week. And then I use like 35. So I only used less than $100 of his $300. Well, actually, I did use a little bit more because I used some to purchase games and everything. But for the sake of this, we're rolling over $149 um, from paycheck or from this year. But 25 of that is going to be for the next year. So $124 is what we're rolling over out of the 300 that I set aside for the whole year. So moving on to 2023, we now have 149 plus five. So $154 that we already have saved up for 2023. So I'm really excited about that. $5 for both of my kids for Michelle's birthday, five. Christmas is going to get five. Again, these three envelopes, we're already moving on to 2023. Actually, Amazon Prime, my kids birthdays and then christmas is all getting stuff for next year emergency fund is going to get sixty dollars my family vacation that we're supposed to be taking will get a hundred and fifty dollars my new camera i'm actually stuffing at this paycheck that's going to get eighty dollars towards that and that's just so I can get a new one just to have as, you know, like a backup or anything or when I want to start doing face-to-face -face and stuff and I don't want to use my phone. 
um, because the audio and the camera just kind of messes up on me. So I want to just have a stationary camera and then one that I vlog and take out of the house and move from room to room. So then Shell's new car, we're actually stuffing our first $100 towards her new car. And that is going in her envelope and I am stoked about that. This right here is self-care, but this is a envelope for my brows. And although I am done stuffing that, I am going to just send an additional $5 to it to start just extra, you know, self-care items that I want to save up for. And then we have the $105 that we are uh, stuffing for like our ink. And that's everything. Yes, I'm so excited. I love stuffing my cash envelopes and getting them stuffed. All of these envelopes are in the shop. They released on the 1st of August. So if you ha did not get any, I will restock soon. Um, there should be some left by the time this video goes up. But if there isn't, I will be restocking and everything. But I try to list a lot at one time. So hopefully you all were able to grab some. But that is my cash envelope sinking fun stuffing sh quick short sweet to the point i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you come back next week for part two of my money series and then we will see you in another video as always thank you so 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 much for watching and i will see you later bye